guys, this is me Anisha Hello and welcome to my channel or oh, very much welcome to my channel. So today's video, it will be a bit different from my regular videos and it will be a study related video. So guys, since I am a 12th grade student, I was and I am or suddenly I am in the middle. Okay, right now I'm in the middle. I'm nowhere right now. I'm neither a 12th grade student nor a pass out certainly because officially like I haven't got my certificate yet. So guys, I just completed my board examination uh, recently and I wanted to share that how it went and how were the papers, how were the question papers and everything. I just wanted to share it on my YouTube channel and that's why that's why I'm making this video. It will be kind of a review, like kind of, uh, it will be about my opinions about the examination papers, about the question papers, how were the questions, were they easy or not, or what, type, what kind of questions came in the examination. So it will be related about that. I am a commerce student so the papers will be regarding the commerce subjects my, and my subjects were commerce, accounts, economics and business studies. These four were my subjects and my second language was Bengali and uh, language and literature, English language and English literature. So that's all those are the seven subjects so we are going to talk about all the seven subjects today. So without wasting any further second let's start with the video. So the first paper that I'm going to talk about is my language paper and this paper was completely based on our writing skills. No grammar came this time because already grammar was in the syllables of semester one. It was not in the syllabus of semester two. So it was completely based on our writing skills. There were three things in the paper, three things that we had to write in the paper. First one was a composition. Second one was a report writing and third one was a proposal. So it was a pretty like easy paper language paper is always kind of easy but it, it is totally based on your writing skills if you know how to write good essays good compositions good proposals and reports and everything if you know how to write it well then your language paper is sorted anyways let's come to the literature paper so in section a there were eight mcqs which were pretty easy these mcqs if you have read the text if you have read the reference book of the um poems and everything if you know the basic if you know the meaning of the chapter then you can solve out these mcqs easily and in section b two questions came from the tempest two questions came from the singing lesson one question came from the sound machine and one question came from b wordsworth and one question came from dover beach and one question came from music makers so these were the six oh so these were the eight questions that came in section b they were really easy guys i'm not telling that the questions were hard the paper was hard it was not hard at all like it was really easy if you have learned the thing if you know the thing then then you can solve up these questions really really easily if you know the basic the meaning if you know the chapter well main thing is if you know the chapter well you can solve these questions very easily and even if it were hard if the questions were hard then also like if we have read the chapter nicely, if we have read the chapter, if you know the chapter, you know, uh, you just have to study. If you study well, if you know the things well, then you can do well in your examination. So yeah, uh, about the literature paper, my brief will be that it was a really easy paper. It was not hard at all. It was like to the point questions were there. It wasn't hard at all. I think I did only one MCQ question wrong. Otherwise, um, my whole paper went well. It did not go bad. So next, let's come to my second language examination. My second language is Bengali. Bengali paper was really easy. Let's say topics were a bit confusing for me. Not the meaning of the topics were confusing. Like I just couldn't figure out that which one should I do uh, out of the essays. But I picked up the last one. And then grammar was really easy, guys. The grammar questions uh, that came in the examinations were really easy you can solve out these grammars really easily without even studying your grammar book of Bengal. and uh, two questions came from the story part two questions came from the poem part and uh, two questions came uh, from uh, the noble koni and another one is also there which is mukut but in our school uh, koni had been taught and we had to choose one out of two questions that came from each topic like uh, from the stories part uh, two questions came we had to choose one question to answer and i would say the questions were not hard at all they were really short and brief and we did not have to explain too much to answer the questions and the other two questions that came from this um, poem part and the novel part uh, those questions were also very easy to the point question and answer and very brief questions very brief questions with which we did not have to write a lot or explain a lot or just or 
we like uh, it wasn't a uh, it wasn't very hard for us to solve those questions and answers yeah it was a uh, nice paper it wasn't a very bad paper or it's a nice decent paper so the next paper that i'm going to talk about is commerce commerce had three sections Sec section a which had eight marks section b which had 12 marks and section c which had 20 marks commerce is a theoretical subject so if you just go through the chapters if you know the chapters well if you know the keywords then you can write your answers in your own language only and the questions were easy and they were good the paper was good it wasn't hard no papers were actually hard if i have to say that no papers were actually hard like i cannot say any oh, except accounts accounts was really like it wasn't hard it was lengthy we will come to that but except accounts uh, the other people's the subjects that i had no papers were hard as such they were easy easy papers easy questions came this time okay so um commerce paper also it wasn't um it was also good paper the questions uh, that came were easy and yeah it was good it was really good like if you just know the thing if you just know the basic if you get, did not go through two chapters and you know nothing about the chapters then uh, it would be hard for you but if you have at least gave one reading and you can remember well um, then i don't think if you if you have got the meaning and you, you know what does this word mean or what does that word mean or you know the keywords of the topics then i don't think the paper that came this time would have been any problem to you you just need to know the chapters well and you just need to know the keywords that is it guys and in board examination people suggest to write short answers to write to the point answers okay not to like write long essays about every, each and every answer uh, it is suggested to write short and brief answers to the point answers so that word everyone should follow they should just uh, learn the keyword and remember it well they should they should go through the chapters very well to remember the meaning of the chapter to remember the meaning of every topic like anything can come in your examination right so you just have to go through your chapter very well and understand and even if you cannot remember you don't have to remember you don't have to memorize each and everything you just have to understand the chapters well then and if you write your answers in your own language that should not be a problem okay the answers should be correct and keywords should be there in your answers from the book that is that that is commerce is a compulsory subject in commerce stream so it is a really good subject commerce and business studies if you have business studies as a subject of yours um then you will find many similar things between these two subjects many uh, similar topics you will find uh, between these two subjects so if you read one very nicely then the pressure of the other subject reduces automatically obviously you have to learn some topics so everything is not similar or everything is not same to same some things are similar between these two subjects okay now next subject that we are going to talk about is accounts accounts paper was really lengthy like even for one mark question we had to do so much of uh, you know workings even for the mcqs even for uh, the other short questions also we had to do so much of workings so it was a really lengthy paper it was not a paper of one and a half hours okay it was not a paper of one and a half hours at all at least if the time was two hours for this paper i'm not saying that they should have given two hours i'm just saying that they should have reduced like they should have not made the questions this lengthy questions were moderate it was moderate like i would not say the questions were very easy and i would also not say that the questions were very hard it was moderate it was somewhere in the middle so yeah like if you have practiced well very well okay if you have practiced very well then this paper might be easy for you but if you haven't practiced well but you have practiced you have practiced but you have not practiced very very well then this paper might be a little less than easy for you and if you are somewhere in the middle if your preparation is somewhere in the middle then i don't think this is a good paper for you then you have to practice at least well to like do a little good in this paper to if you haven't practiced at all then and i'm just so sorry for you in accountancy you should practice okay you should practice regularly i did not practice regularly that's why i'm telling that uh, if you are my junior and if you have opted for commerce or you are about to give your examination next year then i would say that practice regularly 
प्रैक्टिस अकाउंटेंसी रेगुलरली इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट इफ इट इज देर इन योर बेस्ट ऑफ फोर दैन दैट्स अ रियली गुड एडवांटेज फॉर यू इट माइट नॉट बी योर फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट बट यू हैव टेकन कॉमर्स and i think practicing accountancy will make this subject less difficult for you if you practice it regularly i am sure you will start liking this subject a bit because uh, i have had 15 days before my accountancy examination and i really practiced at that point i uh, practiced a lot at that point and um, it kind of i started to like that subject but uh, my examination my accountancy examination was not very well like i could not even complete the paper it did not go very well but i attempted each and every questions i knew how to do them although i don't know if my answers are correct or not but it was not very good for me like it was not very good for me but it was um, less than bad for me no papers went worst of mine this time but i don't know how i did in my accounts examination because i did not even check the answers but yeah the main thing is that for accountancy you have to practice really really well just just so just focus on your practicing and just keep on practicing accountancy regularly at least you should do one sum each day one sum each day also makes a great difference guys and about the questions i also said already that the questions were moderate kind of questions it wasn't very hard kind of questions and it was not very easy kind of questions so it was a moderate paper you can check it out online if you want there are many websites available the next paper that i'm going to talk about is economics and this paper was so easy that i regret that if i would have learned a little more a little well then i could do so much good in this paper and now it's useless right because sometimes you know we have the opportunities and the chances to do good in a thing but we do not use those chances wisely and then regret later this paper guys economics is economics paper was really good i'm i'm saying that each and every paper was good this time it was not bad i would not say that any paper of mine i don't know about the other papers any paper of all these subjects that i have had uh, was hard any like they were not hard at all uh, they were really good this time the papers were really good in semester 1 i was not prepared that's a different thing but this time i was prepared at least better than semester 1 so yeah uh, three sections were there in this paper first section was of 8 marks 8 mcqs second section section b was of 12 marks there were six questions out of which we had one question which had two options like, like we had to choose any one option to answer five compulsory question and one was um six compulsory questions but out of six question one question there were two options okay and in section c it was of 20 marks so 50% of the paper was in section c um four questions were of four marks and one question the last question was divided into three parts and two parts were of one marks and one part was of two marks so marks division was okay our uh, four marks was the maximum marks in this paper and uh, yeah the questions were really easy it was not long and obviously economics is a theoretical plus a little bit of practical kind of subject chapters were good uh, but i did not learn very well like i was prepared but i was not prepared very well okay so this paper economics paper was very decent it was very decent paper and it was a very good paper okay it was a really good paper and i would just wish that i would have learned a little more i could do a little well but now whatever has happened happened now i cannot change anything so i just have to move on okay that's it i just have to move on anyways the mcqs were okay the section b 12 marks questions but one question in section a came out of syllabus that was progressive tax and regressive tax that question came out of syllabus but it was just of one marks but i did learn progressive tax and regressive tax so it was not a problem for me uh, and the other questions are moreover uh, good and section b also the questions are very good to the point questions and in section c also the questions are good they were easy questions and yeah total all total moreover it was a good paper the last and final paper is business studies and since it was my last examination i had literally no energy to study anymore so i was exhausted literally i was exhausted i was tired because one and a half months one and half months is way too much time for an examination to happen and an examination to end so i was literally exhausted and 
yeah but business studies question paper also was really nice it was brief it was to the point questions and answer and the marks revision of this paper was the same as the economics paper in section a 8 marks section b 12 marks and section c 20 marks so it was the same as economics paper but in business studies we did not have any mcqs we had fill in the blanks instead of mcqs but that's not a problem so uh, moreover it was also an easy paper and you can find it out online you can find each and every paper online the papers were all easy all the papers were easy and nice semester two examination <sighs> lastly i would just like to say that these are my personal opinions about each and every subject about each and every paper i am an average student but i try to do a little better than what I did in semester one examination uh, and I don't know if my opinions will match with any other students if obviously it may not match because we all are different in our own ways and our opinions also may vary so if you are a student of my batch and if you are watching this video then do not forget to comment down below of how you felt about this video or what are your opinions or your personal advice to other students or to me and yeah you can just comment it down below how you felt about this video and what are your opinions if i missed out anything then you can comment it down below i will mention it in my next video so yeah guys that was today's video hope you liked it hope you liked today's video it was a little different than my other videos i tried to explain each and every subject like i did not mention any questions like what questions came and all because you can easily find it out online i just I just try to explain that how were the papers were they good or were they not good how my papers went how my examinations went i just really don't know anything about my result and i am trying not to expect any kind of thing because anything can happen like obviously i have an idea somewhere but i'm just trying not to expect anything whatever will happen we'll see so yeah guys that was the video for today hope you liked it if you liked it like my video and share it with your friends comment it down below to let me know how you felt about this video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching lots of love to whoever is watching this video see you in my next video bye guys